know why I haven't thought of doing this sooner, but George Carlin dubbing Thomas the Tank Engine with his uh, R-rated uh, comedy. So here we go. All rights to George Carlin, Thomas, you know the works. Do not watch this with your kids. You know, that's a, fair enough. Ooh. Yeesh. The other engines laughed, and Sir Handel sang a song about Oh, it. God. Ratchet, batshit, dirty old twat. <laughs> 69 assholes tied in knot. Hooray, <laughs> lizard shit. Fuck. The <laughs> continued until at last the day came when his new fun arrived. Sir Topham Hatt proudly presented it. I'm easily impressed. Well, fuck, said Peter Sam. <laughs> But Sir Topham had laughed. Don't worry, Peter Sam. There's nothing wrong with a man who enjoys a good blowjob. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, yes. I like children. You know what I say? Said Edward. Fuck the children. Fuck them. <laughs> Fuck kids. They're getting entirely too much attention. We roll to the... I remember his skit with, like, about the children. <laughs> and his, uh, he mentioned Mr. Conductor. <laughs> just as Gordon arrived. Hello, who are you? I'm Gordon. Who are you? I'm Sir Handel. Wouldn't it be interesting if the only way you could die was that suddenly your head blew up? If what? All the causes of death, everyone died the same way. Sooner or later, without warning, your head simply exploded. Gordon was speechless. <laughs> Graphic much? Sir Handel puffed away to fetch his coaches. He didn't like the look of them at all. No, he didn't. Whatever next? What the fuck's the deal with these guys? Those aren't <laughs> coaches, they're cattle cars. Ooh, scream the coaches. What a horrid engine! Ouch. He's my box! Sam shut his eyes. <laughs> Bloody hell. The poor fuck. The poor stupid fuck. <laughs> One, two, three! Suddenly, like magic, the station was flooded with lights. Jesus, can you believe it's Christmas again? Sex the top of hat. Holy Christ, the Christmas tree is on fire. He was still cross when they reached the... This is good. Sir Handel was hoping for a rest, but his driver thought otherwise. Grow up, motherfucker, said the driver. Let's get you back on the rail. She saw that a milk van was about to be coupled to her and was close to indignant. Uh, I always hated Daisy, you know. Hey, expect me to pull back? Surely, said her driver, you can pull one van. Thanks, Dick. That's real clever, <laughs> said Daisy. By the way, doesn't that ever get to you, being called Dick? Being called Dick is a lot better than being called Dick Licker. Eat <laughs> shit, raisin balls. I hope you swallow a turd. When Sir Handel called... <laughs> George Carlin did a really good female voice, you know. <laughs> you to know I don't automatically wash my hands every time I go to the bathroom. Can you deal with that? Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. You know when I wash my hands? When I shit on them. That's order. How does that work now for what happened with COVID? Oh no, the... Everyone warned me about the lady hat ones. Eat your fucking cornflakes, you cocksucker! Listen, cunt, I'm tired of your meddling. 
James's driver and fire. Oh dear. That struck a nerve. I've heard this one already, so. Before, what brings you this way? I want to see a paint factory blowing up, an oil refinery explode, and a tornado hit a church on Sunday. Well done. Cheers. And keep up the good work. Another character I wasn't able to key on. Chopper, muttered Rusty. One evening he was dozing oh. happily, but Percy wanted to talk. Remember the time I took you down to the beach That's and we set the hot dog stand on fire and three people died? What a fun. <laughs> Certainly not. Percy went on teasing him. <laughs> uh, and then I took you to the bar and got drunk and vomited on the jukebox. And sparks started flying out of the jukebox and a fire started? And all the people were screaming, remember that? Thomas decided to say nothing and went to sleep instead. <laughs> And that was volume one. <laughs> then there was trouble. What? Uh. Oh, that's a gift. <laughs> that's a gift. I love Nicolas Cage.